Hello and welcome to my project. It is a pocket manager and you will see my live sessions of implementing features of this application. Pocket manager is a user for Java FX application for managing XML files which are consist of satellite channels information. Well, I got a time today to work on my personal project. Let me just, if you forgot what it is uh, and how it looks, let me start this application. Basically, currently it looks like this. It has such UI. In this pane, I will load my favorites. And in this pane, I need to load my uh, channel's information. Uh, basic work with working of XML files are done and now I'm actually fighting with the future to be able to find out what kind of device, disk, user need to open and then to open into this disk the file, the appropriate file. You see here the window where I implemented uh, basic some basic features. So when I type here, like for example, C, it automatically finds a way to the C uh, to the C letter. And when I type K, it automatically finds a way to the K, and so on. But basically, idea is to um, to provide. Uh, steps le mm, let me just quickly think about the word uh, stair step stair step so but in order to, to to be successful with this future I need first to get hold of files and directories so let me just go to the whiteboard let me just go to the web and you see Clearly, that I'm. This is kind of test output of, of what uh, user are actually doing. So I clearly see uh, that when the user click on D, he, I can get hold of, the, of this data. So let me just go to the whiteboard. And into the whiteboard, we have following situation currently. Let me just quickly pick up. So I have my um, I have my UI uh, which provides an information UI selected disk selected disk this UI uh, it sends this information to the underlying link um, infrastructure. And I need to build this underlying infrastructure, and it need to be. It, I think it is, can be easily implemented in test-driven way. So, what I need to do, get the disk of user. I mean the selection. Get the selection of. Get the selection of user. Let me just quickly edit it. Uh, I think, yeah, it's a little too large, but anyway, get the selection of user and then uh, respond with the answer. So basically, it should return back a list of directories and files and I think let me just quickly draw the lines so UI selects the disk it sends this information to this uh, business logic classes and then these classes actually respond with uh, some sort of a list with a uh, folders and files. 
So next step, not only that, I want to, I want to get hold of. Um, let me just quickly run it. Uh, run as Java application. So file open open XML file. So I, I'm actually need to get two things: directory and the updated date of each of the file. I mean, updated date probably not so good description, but in Java you can get hold of things like last modified date and this is what I mean actually last modified date but anyways I need to get hold of a directories and I need to get hold of a last modified option from this directory and the file so I have these two lists of information and let before I do any Java programming, let quickly back to the drawing board. So return back a list of directories and files. And not only that. Return back um, last modified feature. Oh, option of the property 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 of each of directory and files so what can you imagine let me let me just quickly draw some example the user ask for disk C and disk have like I don't know dir1 dir2 let me just quickly let me just do things like here. So this second contain a lot of information. Dear one, dear two, and dear three, for example. Then each of the directory have date, last modified date, 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 and date, and it can actually, I can, it can have files. Yep. I think I need to move it here, like here. Files and appropriate dates. And each of the directory can have files too and the dates. So what I need to do before I actually always think about the user drive the user drives this enter uh, kind of interaction so I need to show the user only the first view which will contain major uh, I mean it will contain all directories and files which are into the root of the disk so the, the root of the disk will contain folders, I mean directories and files. And this is what I need to show. And of course I need to always to get the update date. And I have researched this topic and it's already solved. I mean I have here things like here. Uh, let me just close it. Oh, maybe let me. I need to minimize it. Um, kind of strange that I cannot minimize this view. Okay, I need to close. So I have things like um, let me just basic file attributes. This is a Java 8 way to get hold of the data. So I'm actually here is an example for. This is an outside project prototype, which I am actually uh, used to get clear uh, how I need to be able to getting the access information of the given file. And you see it's pretty easy. Let me execute it. 
and I get the size in bytes, creation time, the multiplication time, and last access time. So this is what I'm looking for. Modify time. And I need to do following. Uh, next next prototype. And the next prototy prototype will get the data about the given directory. Mm, here in example I have here default directory to work with default directory I think it's project directory uh, yeah and here I actually visiting this directory and uh, walking through this directory don't think that, uh, that I have any special cases here let's just run it yeah and you see clearly that it goes through this directory and put all the of, of the information so basically what I need to do right now I need to write a test and so I have here uh, before I do that I will show you how I manage to get the hold of the disk from the user interface you see here uh, uh, event handler for the one mouse click uh, actually double double click double click event and when user double click on the disk for me it's like okay I need to interact with the disk which I present in my view. Some people say maybe if user click enter key, it should be the same behavior. Definitely I would implement it later in the progress of my project. But now I need just a pretty simple interaction so that I, so that I get done with this kind of unexpected project. Uh, delay, I would say, because Java FX does not contain um, native native file chooser dialog. So here I need to here I get hold of a disk, and then I need here in this place I need to call the method from the class which I will write today which will respond with a list I basically think it can be a different type of a collection I need to look it up what kind of a collection I need to use for and then I can actually get some response but the next problem will be basically to represent this data in my view I get I I will get the list I mean I will get the directory and files and I need somehow to represent it in some meaningful way and my solution is actually done I mean here what I found on the Java code geeks it's very good site about different kind of uh, solutions and see uh, you see here and the prototype how basically my idea looks like so I have my file names I mean first I mean here you have different kind of data structure but it doesn't matter I will uh, say you can actually imagine here will be like directory directory file directory and last update but it will be like stair step it will look like stair step and user will be able to click on on the directory and then this data will be read and this will be actually then later verified if it, if, it, if it's if it's a selected file 
a valid one because music can actually pick a valid one and I don't want to do to deal with it and I will just verify the selection and if it is not I will just say in file wasn't selected and, and such and such so it's basically will be decided later but now let me just go to the programming and start to work on programming okay so next move is uh, to write actually the test this test will be for the reading of data structure I mean going through the directories and the, the place where I need to do that you see project become larger larger so okay I need to go to my tests and here where I have test utils I am thinking about console printer. Okay, so here in test util, I will create a package. Package which will I call. Um, so basically, creating. I am creating. Um, directory walking walking through directory and then I will basically write here test walking walking directory all right Okay, so my class, what is the goal of my class? What what my JUnit will achieve, need to, uh, need to achieve actually? Um, the user gives a letter of the disk and then I need to respond with the contents of the given disk it should have three things actually directories names appropriate file names and the attribute of the last modified things when it was last modified so let's just try it and look and so basically it's a walker and it walks through the directories so I need to pick walker directory directory upper okay directory walker Test. I will, yeah, I know Eclipse kind of picky here. Type name usually start with uppercase. Maybe let me just quickly look it up because you see, I'm using you see, I have here read XML. And the Oracle convention, I think Oracle convention actually allowed to, wait a second, yeah, I think convention is always a uh, thing which always different from company to company. Um, so basically, yeah, you see. Ah, okay, uh, unit tests classes. Ah, okay, so I need to. <laughs> okay, no, I mean, in my case, 
I can actually for the classes um, the name of the classes production classes which are used in production you see they are all appropriate but the tests uh, doesn't matter how I yeah it's classes too but I will stay with my convention for the tests which always starts with a uh, smaller letter letter and let me just create here J unit J okay so now I have here my test and this is basically looks like this directory Volker test so my test always here I have okay so here I have this convention for the model test for the and okay so I think why I did pick up such naming I don't actually can actually remember but I will stay in this package the name of my J unit J unit class will have this form format I will stay in I mean for the package for the package representation I think it's okay directory walker walker test so what I need to do I need to write a test for my uh, let me just write my first test okay let me let me just think about what I need to write and Thing, main view test. No, I don't need this. Just need to have an example. Set up test. Yeah, I think I can copy this into my stash. And close it down. So basically, I always like to write the first thing like test and and then just write like um, testing if Volker Volker object exists I will say Volker exists and it will will uh, like testing if the directory it's actually not directed it goes to the directories file files mm, I will say testing if file uh, it's actually File system Volker. File system Volker. Yeah. File system Volker exist. And what I need to do? It's actually will will have not, nothing to to give back. And assert not null. This is what I need to test. And here I need to think about object which I need to write here. So my class name will be like this file system Volker. I need to declare it here. File system Volker fs Volker object. And I need to write here before each. 
and where I can where I can do this man um, let me just think about directory volker test go for each and stop here and this will fail because I did not did not yet created it uh, file with volker new file system volker so it will it will basically fail oh, um, I need to actually here to make my verification and this will basically fail because I do not have that does not create this class. Yeah, fail. And now I need to pass this test. And how I'll do this? And pretty, pretty, pretty simple. I need to create file file system Volca. The file system Volca will be created here. This is my. It belongs to the customized file chooser. Let me just close it all. Don't need it stuff. Okay, so let me just think about customized file chooser. Yeah, what it is? Uh, ah, it's actually customize file choose ah so it's it's a basically controller for this border pane yeah it's it's a, it's a controller for this customize file chooser okay um and what I need to do, validators, basically I need to, it belongs to this customized file chooser. And I, to structure my project better, I need to write here another package. Package, I will just call it utils. Uh, and it will be like file file system file utils file system access it's actually file system file system file system utils so I have utils and in file system I will only have utils for the file system so here I do we have file system file system tools yeah basically file system tools file system tools and here I will create my uh, class So now I just need to provide this class and this will actually will pass the unit test. And you can see testing if file system Volker exists passing. Alright, so next move, next move. So I need to kind of write here a mock and this will be basically mock mock object uh, mock object disk letter why you ask why I do not connect it to the UI nah, because 
for, for, for testing this folk, I don't need to involve my UI. So it must stay clean. And let me just write here like C. C letter. And let me just, I think I uh, not properly close double double quote. I think it's like this. Yeah, because I need to escape one one stuff. And uh, let me just quickly write his is out for the test case. Yeah, now it's okay. So, and uh, what I need to do, I need to add, uh, because I have prepared already a content for disk C. So, here I have the, um, the content for this test. This is on my disk. When I type dr dra c example, I mean you see you see the contents of this directory. So what I need to do, I just need to include this directory. So the next move will be to go through all of these directories and files. And let's just continue. So I'm switching to Eclipse and the first test will be like test and now I need to do following testing if if um, directories shown can can be can be shown so can be print actually I, I need to print directories so basically here I trying to implement the behavior of my Volcom and not to forget, I need to have here stuff like string uh, testing test directory at test directory at test because I don't want to show the contents of my C drive, but I rather will show the contents of my test directory, which is test. And I need to do that. So this is my directory test, and the contents is which you actually can see. So let me just quickly eclipse, switch to eclipse directory a test, and here I need to specify that this is a test directory a test. And testing if directories can be print. So basically, my first idea to to show the directories and file visit result start tier visitor get the path object for the default directory I basically can use this kind of stuff in my production class but I need to make sure what kind of uh, output I expect actually so mm, I need to 
I want to have. Uh, so now I need to think about my data structure. Let me just think about. Um, elements are keyed. Actually, no. Elements are unique. Actually, no. First in, first out doesn't matter. Last in, first out doesn't matter. So I need to use a list. And the order is not important. Actually, order is not important. So I need just to use to use every error list. And what I need to get hold of I have I can use linked list I can use there are different kind of list which I can use um, linked list sorted but iteration is slower error list iteration and deletion are slower not that safe I don't know plan working with threads in my project. Um, fast insertion. Ah, okay. I think linked list will be interested. Low. So let's just write the test first. Hmm. Testing if directories can be print. I'm actually thinking about to include all of the directories to my to my project. Yeah, this is kind of stuff which I didn't thought about. If I have people with a macOS, they don't have C drive, they have different kind of device. So it's basically a test for Windows system, but anyhow you can always you, you can always disable test later. I mean uh, file system is always uh, operating system dependent. But I do not want to to, to make stuff too, comp too complicated for my taste. Let me just uh, think about how I should proceed right now so right now I just need to make sure that I getting the directories so every list of string and expected expected Dear list, you array list. I hope I do this right. And let me just do it right. Okay, so now I can initialize it. By the way, which I like. Um, what I need to do, I need to add some values like dear 0 till dear 10. Let me just copy the values. Let me just copy right here. So all the stuff I don't need it. So I'm basically writing pretty simple stuff. And of course the order is important. Let's just try it out. So, so 
so I have my directory uh, a lot of directories but I do not yeah, it should be sufficient I think like this and all right so now I just need to add all of those values to my add why it does not add I think it does not work that way maybe, maybe. let's just try it out and, and if it does not work okay fine by me it only accept one value yeah, and string string okay so basically I need kind of iterator stuff I mean for for loop for loop so let me just do it like this and we know we have only 10 values expected so it basically will look like this dir plus i and i need to add Now just need to output it. She's out. So I'm preparing mockup object, which I will later validate through the actual result. Expected to string. Hopefully, it have the string method. Now let's just look at this test. Mm, okay, so I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've always forget it, man. Uh, less than equal, yeah. Kind of problem of my for loop looping a lot times now I have it. Yeah. So I have 10 directories in my list. 10 directories. And I'm only care right now at getting the directories as a result. Let it can be it, it will be more complicated. But now I have pretty simple stuff with my test. So okay, now I don't need so let me just quickly check. Yeah. From zero to ten, from zero to ten, and what I need to do? I need to do following. We'll probably need to comment here, put here. Works. It works only. On Windows machine, put the archive dir files zip to your 
C drive. Yeah, I think it should be comment like here. I will later prepare this. Um, I will extract it and put to the project to resources so people will know what to do. Okay, now I need to do following. I got my directories and the output of the directories and I see I have my time expense. Okay, hmm. yeah, it takes, it takes a while to build up the mock, mock stuff. So now I need to do following. Um, I need to write assert assert equals. I hope it equals. I hope it works with the so expected expected the release actual the list and I think the message is. Yeah, I need to create it. So basically preparing my failing test. Actual year list. And here I just need to call my Volca. Cool name. File system Volca object and call on this object the method like uh, print print or basically get 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 directories get directories list and here I just put my mock object disk later plus um, directory at test and I hope it works assertions assert equals yeah I think as if if I use a sort equals, I always always forget to working a lot of time with JavaScript nowadays, and sometimes I need to look it up into the API. Let me just and I need assertions in Java. I think the first stuff is a string assert equals yeah ah so string message and i hope it works with a collection i think yeah i think it work, will work with the collection but the string message will should be like oh, yeah it is here like I'm validating what I'm trying to hear um, getting direct to is least failed this will I get when it fails. Let me just save it. And now I just need to run reunit test. Yeah. Let's make it uh, first, let's make it pass. Let's make it pass, create method, and let me just quickly make some data work. Uh, take it this and 
put it right here. Return just to get just to see the message. I need to make sure that I'm getting the, the message. Okay, so it works, but now I need to improve my actual code in my file system Vulkan. And I don't need actually uncommon this. And here I just write refactor. Maybe let me just refactor only the not needed stuff. Here I just will be creating mockup dir list. Just to make to to make my stuff cleaner, but as you see, this is how it goes, and I hope it will be successful. So stay tuned for the next part where I will implement the actual logic of my Vulkan. I will go through my my list of my directories. And then list of files and present it through some meaningful way. Maybe a lot of time refactor the code, and then later I hope it will, I, I can get list of directories, these files, and the last updated attributes. So stay tuned.